Um, For me, Frostborn is the history behind the sword and not true. the sword itself. Yeah, very yeah. true. I guess uh, because it always comes up, and I, I guess so, I feel like we have to at least touch upon it, although I think we're all kind of of the same. So, you know. Sneak attack. Is it is it fine as is? Is it good or uh, does it does it need does it need working? Do, do, I I, I have thing, I have words about this. Th- yeah, because there's this thing out there on the in the internet D and D space where there seems to be these weird back and forth about sneak attack too strong, sneak attack not strong enough, sneak attack too complicated, sneak attacks should work like this, sneak attack does this, sneak attack goes off too often. Like, there's a lot of like too often. I'm raising my uh, hands. Yeah, I'm waving too in the often air. because a lot of people think it should only proc if you're like attacking from stealth, essentially. I'm, I'm so, waiting like, for my, you know, my teacher to call common. on me, even though I'm the kid that never gets any right. answers right. It, you have a strong <laughs> rant, Sam, go for it. <laughs> All right, listen, I know I'm I went on this rant that early. fucking killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even though I never get any of the answers right. <laughs> Funnily enough, in school it was the opposite. They would yes. call on me, even though I never raised my hand because I would get the answer correct. Sam knew the answer. That's I it it hurt a lot because I definitely wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I would still get it right though because they would. I'd be like, "What was the question again? Could you word it better for me?" Uh, anyways, so like sneak attack on its own, and I, we we had the, I had this rain earlier. If you take sneak attack away, rogue literally just becomes the skill jockey, and like even worse skill jockey than it was in like third edition because it doesn't get any of the cool skills because third edition had a lot more skills that it could pick from. So like True. sneak attack does not need to go away, does not need to be nerfed. It's probably fine as it is. My big thing is subclasses that augment sneak attack are cool as shit because Mm. Mm. having different ways to apply sneak attack is very cool like because it because it's the core mechanic changing it based on subclass is interesting Mm -hmm. absolutely like phantom rogue i believe that's the rogue that i'm thinking of having the you have the undead ability or you basically whenever you sneak attack someone you call upon the undead to do sneak attack damage to someone else that's cool as shit like having different Mm -hmm. ways to utilize sneak attack based on your subclass would make rogue if they had more of it a much cooler class and probably would just bump it up to a five for me if they just started adding more subclasses like that Mm. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting when we get, uh, you know, uh, 5.5e uh, Exerd Revelator plus R, uh, you know, you know, Strive if, Edition uh, yeah. to see that. Like, I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with Assassin and Arcane Trickster mm-hmm. and Thief because I do I, think we yeah. get some interesting reworks. I I think that honestly. Any, I hope Assassin all, becomes good because I love the idea of an Assassin. Same. I mean, I'm pretty sure Assassin was also like about the same level in third edition. Uh, it just had some other requirements, which was uh, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, well, because in third edition, the difference was is that you didn't have subclasses; you had prestige, prestige classes. Yeah. So, like Assassin, literally needed so Assassin's requirements were a little silly. I don't remember the like the specific skill requirements kill a man had, in cold blood it was literally just kill a random dude just oh. kill someone for the sake of it but like oh. you were you were, i know you were joking I but that's joking, actually yeah. it like oh. you you literally just have to kill someone <laughs> that is the choice. requirement not in Mark combat them. just just murk a guy so like you know you you could you could take that an interesting route like oh i i was planning an assassination because of x y and z and because of that, I've become more skilled. Or you could just go up to the hobo on the side of the room and shank him, and boom, you've fulfilled the requirement. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay then. I should walk. Anyone else have a strong sneak attack? Opi- sneak attack? Oh, I'm not done. Opinion? <laughs> oh, okay, Sam's so still going. Oh, oh, he's still going. Everybody sit the fuck down. I think that if you take away sneak attack or you nerf sneak attack, you are a coward. Clown. Ooh, I, like, he used the like, C word. I, I agree. <laughs> I, it's it's just it's like yeah. either you don't know how to read or you yeah. really like taking away your player's fun Oof. because or you just genuinely don't understand how 
like the, how design works. Yeah, like, add, like even out on basic. Level. I mean that 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 goes that goes with the whole reading thing because like true. Or, or, and so like let's let's do some some real basic math, okay? Unless you oh give your room. Sam's math corner begins. I, oh my god, Get is out that what we're calling it? Everybody. Oh my whiteboard is across the room from me, and I don't have the markers out. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> So, okay, so if you take away sneak attack, Rogue is essentially a fighter without extra attack in combat. Which means that, like, and they don't... I, wait, hold on, let me... Let me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they don't get martial weapon proficiencies. They get long swords, rapiers, and short swords. For yeah, their they proficiencies have, they, they're besides one of those and crossbows list. and simple weapons. I mean, I understand why they did that. But like at the same time, yeah. so like you get like what, what, what's the die for a longsword? Like a D D eight to a D eight or a D ten. Yeah, so you get a you get a D ten <laughs> on yeah. a rogue. Like you get a D ten plus whatever the magic item is. That's it. That's 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 all the damage you get from a rogue per turn. All right. So like in compare, like I get it. Yeah, ten D six at. Uh, level 19 can be scary when you look at it when you're just starting a game brother the most that they're gonna get until like ninth level is 46 which averages out to uh 16 extra damage so like you get 22 damage from a rogue from a sneak attack Whereas a fighter can attack how many times at eighth level? Uh, three, three, three times, and they um, can twelve. Well, two, two, and then you can action search. Yeah, action yeah, four, yeah. yeah. So like you know, two d six. So like two, two, so two d six times four, three, six, so six d six. Six. No, no, what? Four attacks. Said, so we're going four attacks. Four attacks. Four attacks. If you use if you're using action surge, four yeah. attacks. So so eight d six at level eight. Eight d six. Uh, the that that would be four times eight, twenty four. Uh, they do like just the same amount of damage as a fighter does using action surge. Yeah, sure. You can say ah, oh, well, you know they they don't have to use action surge every time they do that. Okay, cool. But like they don't have to use action surge, but sneak attack has stipulations. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. Like you have to fulfill certain requirements for sneak attack to go off. If you the rogue are fighting alone, you're not going to be pumping out that much damage unless you're a swashbuckler. Fighters can do that on their own. Fighters just do that, and they get better AC and shields. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. And health. W what? And health. Like, Almost like fighters have more going for them in, in for sitting on the front line, fr front lines, front lines than front rogues lines. do. Yeah, front lines, uh, front <laughs> lines than rogues do. And ro like you take away sneak attack, rogues are never going to be in the front lines. They're basically just going to be the archer boy, which fighter can do better. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You basically put them in the same boat as ranger, except worse because they don't get spells. Unless you go into a subclass that gives them spells. Yeah. So why neuter rogue it, by taking away sneak attack? Like, okay, nerfing them, it's the same boat because the math just ends up being bad, you know? Yeah, I, just, I, uh, I, I, I think I brought right, this up Sam, in are another. You, are you good, Sam? Are you good? Get it out. I, I mean, I could keep going, honestly. But I, I, I was gonna say, please don't tell him. I know Sam; he can keep okay. going. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, right. I, I, I bring this up only because it's irrelevant, and uh, I, I may have brought this up in an earlier episode, but in very early GM of mine, trying to get sneak attack was like pulling teeth. Like most of us were rogues in some capacity for raisins, and it was always like. Like, at first it was like oh well you have to be hidden and we we're like oh but that's not what the rule says and he was like no no no, you don't understand that's how it works and we were like i don't You're like it, it doesn't though I, I don't know about that and yeah and like as we got more experience we we're like no that's definitely not how it works and it unfortunately got, it, for a while i got really combative to where he was like no i just don't think you'll get it mm -hmm. and we we're like what he was just I, deciding on certain yeah at some point and event like eventually we we like talked it out and we were like okay my guy like i we understand that we're all really overpowered based on a decision that <clears throat> you made, but uh, you, you can't keep doing this to us, my guy. <laughs> uh, and eventually, everything sort of worked itself out. Yeah, I, yeah, I, you know that that's another thing. 
DMs being like, "I ah, well, you you shouldn't get sneak attack because you're not you're not sneaky." Like, yes, I know the name is. Yeah, not... that is my that is my. So I was gonna say my my two complaint or this is kind of one complaint actually one. Uh, my complaint with sneak attack is not the uh, mechanical design in any way. I think it works perfectly fine. I like it a lot. Uh, I mm-hmm. it's just it needs rewording. I think I the, I think it need the name. I don't know what it should be, but I think we need a rework on the so, name. And I think the paragraph that explains how it actually works needs a little bit of retooling. But other than so, that, I'm good. So I think, and, and here's what I think. This is why I think Sneak Attack as a name is fine. It's because of how video games work and how they're always like, you do the Sneak Attack. Everybody understands that. Okay, I won't say everybody. Anybody who has played any form of stealth game or game that or has assassinations or whatever will understand that sneak attack specifically does not mean that you're like you're stealthed and yeah, you're, you're gonna, you're I mean, stab them in the back. Like I get I don't know. it. I want it to be like trick attack or something. I I don't blow. like what I I don't like low blow because low blow means to me that you kicked him in the nuts. Yeah. That's like the more f- dirty fighting than yeah. trickery. Like, yeah. I, I can't think of a name. Because really, to all me sneak attack means... is is you're hitting a. The idea of it is you're hitting a weak point. I, you're either hitting a weak point or or the catching foe's a distracted unaware. foe. Like, yeah, yeah, it literally says you know how to strike subtly and exploit a foe's distraction. Yeah. So, so um, like, you know, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I do, but I also feel like sneak attack, the way that it is worded currently, to most people, they'll just understand that this is not specifically like. Oh, I'm doing this from the shadows. It's more I'm doing this like at, as a maneuver versus that. But I understand why you would think that sneak attack is not a great name. And I, I know we've had.